Hi everyone, uh, now we are going to see about the Francis turbine. In this module uh, turbines, we are going to discuss about already we have seen uh, the types of turbines, what is a turbine and what are the classifications of turbine. So in that uh, Kaplan turbines and the Francis turbine, Peltonville turbine or uh, the basic turbines whatever it is there for the, our syllabus, according to that we will see. Uh, the Pelton wheel turbine la last class we have seen and now we are going for the Francis turbine. So turbine means what? It's a, it's a device which is going to convert the hydraulic power into the rotational that is the mechanical power. So here the Francis turbine means what and uh, how it is functioning that's what we are going to uh, discuss here. So it, uh, it is invented by an American civil engineer Francis so that in his name it is called as a Francis turbine. So, in this turbine, the kinetic energy and potential energy of uh, the water, what it is there uh, here, we are going to utilize as a for the rotation of the turbine blades here. It is here actually, this is uh, for a pressure head, efficiency of a pressure head of a 50 mm to uh, 400 meter, 15 meter to 400 meter uh, pressure head, it can uh, effectively run. And uh, uh, the thing is, here the flow rates is for 10 meter cube per second uh, to 700 meter per second okay uh, cubic meters we will say cubic meters per second or meter cube per second right so uh, let me see the construction of this uh, so with the top view here and the front cross sectional view is given over here so when there is the spiral casing it is consist of a spiral casing where uh, a larger diameter is shrink into a uh, smaller diameter so that the pressure variation to uh, make the uniform pressure variations here the casing is a area which is going to cover the entire water uh, without uh, spill outside and uh, there are the runners and guideways over there so the guide vanes and the runners will help the water to direct uh, in a, uh, the guide vanes will guide the waters to flow inside the runner and the runner will rotate this is the logic over here and uh, since it will come and flows down towards the uh, the tail race okay so radially it comes inside and actually it goes down so uh, we can see this is the uh, francis turbine uh, sectional or animational view you can see here how the water enters into the uh, turbine so the green color arrow you can see uh, the water is entered through the pipe and uh, the reduction of the uh, spiral that is what spiral casing we call uh, the area is getting reduces and uh, here the water is getting entered to the guide winds and it will uh, heat on the rotor of the turbine so that the turbine is going to be rotated okay so let me see one by one what is the uh, what is the use of the spiral casing and we have uh, see the spiral casing is uniformly decreasing cross section okay around the circumferences so the decreasing cross section uh, what it will uh, uh, helps how it will help is uh, we have a uniform velocity of water and it will strike down the runner blades so uh, this decreasing cross section will help for the uniform uh, flow of water inside that and the pressure uniform let it be the pressure and so the reduce the cross section area because the pressure uh, may be getting reduces when uh, the water is getting flowed and it rotates the turbine so this cross section the circumference uh, the what is it a spiral cross section as a spiral area it will reduce it will make the pressure uniform so that velocity striking the runner and the uniform momentum will be there and uh, the uh, veins veins is the guide veins so when before the spiral casing is uh, through the spiral case water is coming but it, it directly heats it never uh, it's not not hitting directly on the rotor so there are some guide waves are present so the guide waves itself uh, it will access a nozzle over here and the runner blades it enter into the runner uh, the water is entering into the runner blades through the uh, guide blades so that effectiveness will be more so the it reduces the swirling of water due to the radial flow so water is uh, coming in a radial direction so it will affect uh, the blades so these guide winds will properly guide the water to flow into the runner blades okay so uh, the runner blades uh, okay what, what will happen is when it is entered into the runner blades the runner blades will 
uh, get the energy whatever the uh, energy with the potential energy and the kinetic energy of the water which is coming from the dam okay we know already uh, water is uh, having a potential energy when it is getting in the uh, dams then the potential energy is converted into kinetic energy when it is passing through the nozzle or passing through the pipe and it is enter into the uh, turbines okay so the design of the runner blade decides how the turbine is going to perform okay runner blade here it's a mixed flow turbine that can be divided into two parts upper part of the blade uses reaction force and the lower part uses the impulse force so upper part how because reaction force is the water enters through the guide vanes and it hits on the uh, the rotary wheel so that we called as a, uh, in, uh, reaction force and the reaction force is uh, rotating uh, in the top of the blades and then uh, the bucket shape uh, impulse action okay a shape of small buckets using the impulse action of water uh, is also used to flow it so these are all the two things we can use for the runner to rotate here and uh, the next one is the draft tube which is coming the water after heating after uh, after the runner uh, gets the uh, energy from the water then the water is uh, have to exhaust the water outside uh, exit the water so how the water is getting exit the exit exit for the exit uh, uh, it is connected the draft tube is connected to the runner exit so the yeah, tail race we call it as uh, tail race it's a cross sectional area increases along the length normally uh, the spiral it is the cross section area is getting uh, decreases in the case okay but in the outside when it is going out the water is going uh, outside the uh, gradually the cross section of the pipe is getting increases so uh, out of the runner water is coming out of the runner blade uh, with a low pressure so that it is expanding when when the water is getting the pipe is getting expand uh, normally the pressure is going to be reduces so and it helps to recover the pressure as uh, towards the tail race so this is what the draft tube here you can see the uh, draft tube how it will be okay so uh, this is the cross sectional increase cross section so we can uh, uh, we can write a uh, summarize this totally how it is functioning uh, is in uh, terms of the water enters into the turbine through the spiral case and starter into the entering into the runner blade through the stay vanes or guide vanes okay this is the first point how it is entering into the uh, casing and uh, due to the uh, decreasing cross section of the spiral casing the pressure energy is remains a uh, uniform okay and along the length this is the second and entering now it enters into the running blade runner blade and there the runner is starts to rotate so runner start to rotate so by taking the energy of this so uh, next to this generated uh, the stay vanes being stationary at their place removes the swirl of the water and the runner blade is only going to rotate in that way so uh, after that the water angle of the guide vanes it decides the angle of attack so it comes to control the flow of water how it has to and we can adjust the guide vanes position also how long how water has to hit on the runners like that we can control the direction of the runners so after getting the runner blade after hitting on the runner blade the water has to come out so how it is coming out uh, that is due to the draft tube by using the draft tube at the bottom of this uh, uh, exit when, when it is going to be exist uh, it, a draft tube is uh, fixed so that the kinetic energy and the pressure energy here uh, uh, it is already lag uh, so that to increase it so we can make it and the pressure energy uh, will be reduces due to the draft so that it will uh, reduces the uh, cavitation okay uh, it's a process cavitation process can be reduced due to this so what are the applications so francis turbine is so wherever it is used is mainly hydro power plants where the uh, dams are there from the dams when the power is going to be generated there we can use the uh, francis turbine okay since it's a mixed flow turbine it can used to for the uh, irrigation pumps pump set uh, we are going to use for irrigation pumps where, where there is uh, from the ground for the irrigation there we can use this turbines also used for this turbine and uh, water head flow rate efficient over a wide range of water head that is water head is pressure head so 440 meters to 780 meters like that 
head pressure rate can be tolerated with this help of the uh, turbine so uh, these are all the uh, things which we, we have to see in this transistor turbine next we will see about the kaplan turbine